Meghan Markle miscarriage. When did Duchess of Sussex suffer tragic loss? The Duchess of Sussex has revealed she has had a miscarriage. Meghan Markle revealed the tragic news in an article in the New York Times today. She and Prince Harry, who have been married since 2018, already have one son, Archie, born in 2019. Meghan made the heartbreaking admission in an opinion article for the American news giant. She wrote, It was a July morning that began as ordinarily as any other day, make breakfast. Feed the dogs. Take vitamins. Find that missing sock. Pick up the rogue crayon that rolled under the table. Throw my hair in a ponytail before getting my son from his crib. After changing his diaper, I felt a sharp cramp. I dropped to the floor with him in my arms, humming a lullaby to keep us both calm, the cheerful tune a stark contrast to my sense that something was not right. I knew, as I clutched my firstborn child, that I was losing my second. Hours later, I lay in a hospital bed, holding my husband's hand. I felt the clamminess of his palm and kissed his knuckles, wet from both our tears. Staring at the cold white walls, my eyes glazed over. I tried to imagine how we'd heal. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have their son, Archie Harrison, in 2019, and currently live together in California. The royal family is yet to issue a statement on the news, and it is unclear if other members of the family were aware of the loss prior to this morning. In her article The Duchess of Sussex reflects on the struggle that has been 2020, noting the loss and pain that has plagued many people who have lost loved ones to the virus and the civil unrest that took place in America earlier this year. She wrote, We've heard all the stories, a woman starts her day as normal as any other, but then receives a call that she's lost her elderly mother to COVID-19. A man wakes feeling fine, maybe a little sluggish, but nothing out of the ordinary. He tests positive for the coronavirus and within weeks, he, like hundreds of thousands of others, has died. She wrote, in places where there was once community, there is now division. We aren't just fighting over our opinions of facts. We are polarized over whether the fact is, in fact, a fact. We are at odds over whether science is real. 